Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my school morning routine. If you're new to this channel, then welcome. I'm a 16-year-old high school student with 4.0 GPA and a very promising future. And I'm also a very sarcastic person. So I'd usually wake up at 4.30 a.m. because my school started at 6.30. So the first thing I do after waking up is make my bed because it's nice to come home at the end of the day to a nicely made bed. After that, I take my super lame uniform and go to the bathroom to brush my teeth and take a shower. A lot of you guys accused me of not brushing my teeth because I didn't feel myself doing it in my other routines. But just because I didn't film it doesn't mean I didn't do it, okay guys? But I know some people are still not gonna be convinced, so now I'm filming myself brushing my teeth as proof. This is why I don't like filming myself brushing my teeth because it feels super awkward. After brushing my teeth, I would then take a shower. The shower scene will be demonstrated by my raccoon. Enjoy! After taking a shower and changing into my mediocre school uniform, I'd go back to my room and proceed with my skincare routine. I'd apply some face cream and some sunscreen on my face. We weren't allowed to wear makeup to school, so I'd just use some translucent powder to get rid of the shine on my face. Finally, I'd apply some lip balm to keep my lips moisturized. Next, I'd brush my hair and style my fringe. You gotta look good for a senpai in case you accidentally bump into him in a hallway, am I right, fellow weeps? So as you guys can see, my fringe tends to get this weird parting at the right side of my face and I don't know how to control it. It's weird because my hair parts in the middle, but my fringe keeps stubbornly parting on the right side. So after multiple failed attempts of getting my fringe to look perfect, I just had to accept that, like everything else in life, my fringe would never be perfect. After styling my hair, I would then wear my tie. The teachers would always get triggered whenever they saw us without a tie. I know you guys are probably sick of seeing me eat my bland oatmeal for breakfast. So today I'm showing you guys my second breakfast menu which is this baby porridge. Oh my god Rafi Rafi, why are you eating baby food? As a baby, I find this offensive. I'm sorry to all the babies out there for eating your food but it just tastes so good, I can't help it. It's easy to make as well, you just have to mix it with warm water and voila, you have a delicious meal that looks like barf. But hey, what matters is the taste, am I right? This is actually the secret to retaining my youthful appearance. If I don't eat this for a few days, I'll return to my original form like Mother Gothel. So I have to eat this baby porridge at least once a week. After I had finished eating my breakfast, I'd go wash the dishes in the sink. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is, Rafi, Rafi, where's your mom? Why do you do everything by yourself? Explain! And to be honest, I'm kinda confused by that question because isn't it normal to make your own breakfast and clean after yourself? I mean, I may eat baby food but I ain't no baby. So anyway, after washing the dishes, it's time to prepare my lunchbox. I'd usually just heat up some leftover food from last night's dinner in the microwave. And while waiting for the food to heat up, I'd go prepare the rice. Like most Asians out there, I cannot live without rice, so I always gotta bring some rice with me in my lunchbox. Once the food is all heated up, I take it out of the microwave and place it on the table. These are fried sardines and they taste really good. Next, I'd prepare some vegetables. Since I wouldn't have time to cook some, I'd just bring some fresh tomatoes or in this case, a cucumber. I take out the sap first and then wash the cucumber in the sink. I then cut it into small slices. I had a hard time cutting this because my tripod and camera were in the way. So then I put the sardines and cucumber slices inside my lunchbox. My lunchbox consists of two parts which you stack on top of each other and then you secure them with an elastic. I got it from Miniso by the way. I'd also bring my ice bear spoon and fork which I got from Miniso as well. And finally, I'd put them all into this ice bear lunch bag. You guys can probably tell by now that my favorite Wee Bear Bears character is Grizzly. So after that, I'd bring the lunch bag to the living room sofa, where I had placed all my other stuff such as my backpack, socks, and handkerchief. But before I leave, I had to head back to my room first to wear some perfume and put on my watch. 
finally, I put on my socks and shoes and head off to school. So, that was my school morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is gonna be the last school morning routine that I'd make. A lot of people don't seem to realize that I've already graduated high school even after I told them multiple times. And they kept asking me to make an updated school routine even though I obviously don't have one. Yeah, so anyway, that's all from me today. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye! Thank you.